So we are back with another Destiny 2 Final Shape DLC video and in this video people I will guide you on how you can get the legendary weapon of the Kvostov. Am I even pronouncing that right? I don't think I've been able to since the Destiny 1 days. Now I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that this quest is tied to the exotic version of this weapon and this will have to be done in order to unlock that exotic version when it does arrive or be discovered. Now this quest is pretty long and to be honest other guys I've seen on YouTube only show half of what you need to be done and they're all scrambled up, it's a complete mess out there. Don't worry guys, today I have you covered in absolutely every aspect of this quest line. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So this legendary classic weapon is back and well it is just as good as I do remember. Offering a multitude of combinations and like I said I have no doubt that this weapon is tied to the exotic version of said weapon. Now this weapon is locked behind a chest which requires a lost encryption code. There are I believe 15 of these lost encryption bits for you to collect, uh, 6 coming from cyst missions and the others coming from region chests. So let's get to this guys. Now I will firstly run through the cyst missions, what these are and how you get them. The region chests we can cover after as they ain't really going anywhere. So firstly people to even start this quest line you have to complete the final shape story because you need Mika 10's quest line in order to unlock this weapon. So completing a main campaign story for this DLC, upon you doing this you return to the lost city on Pale Heart. Speak to Ghost and here with a quest waiting for you called Destined Heroes. Once you pick this up you then have to interact with the radio right by Ghost. Upon you doing this, you then have to investigate the activity of Safafoon's Lucent Hive near the portal. This is a mission that starts right nearby. Now a few simple tips for this mission. It's all about using that relic dropped by those knights to deflect bullets shot by the enemy back at the plates or runes. Matching the corresponding enemy type burn to the colour of the rune and so forth. You will eventually come to certain runes that are shielded. Above them is a little ball. You shoot this ball with the swords or the relics heavy attack. It will clear the shield allowing you to deflect those bullets at those, uh, those runes, those plates to progress on. Now once you do this guys and complete this part of the quest, this mission, the next step is a simple one and this is where this whole quest line starts. You need to head back to the Lost City and speak to Mika 10. He will give you this quest line. The quest line is called Convalescence Route Bound. So this will require you to head to a certain location people, obviously use the waypoints on your map on that director. Eventually guys if you're having trouble you'll find the ghost right here people, it's as simple as that. Once you've done this guys head back to Mika, return the ghost, speak to Mika claim your prize and you are done. The next part of this quest is called Convalescence Under Brush. This part of the quest line is also straightforward, it requires you to acquire flickering blessing mods by opening chests anywhere on a pale city but with the path find a field assessment chest giving you much better chances. Once you've opened enough random chest guys you'll find what you are looking for. Once you're done here, the next step is to investigate the new growth in the Order of Light, which sees you heading back to Mika 10's room and interacting with this ghost. Then guys, go on and speak to Mika, claim your weapon. The next part of the quest is called Convalescence Greenery. This step is where you have to open overflow chests in the landing area to gain access to the location Mika indicated. For me, like I said, it's in the landing area. So I headed here and worked my way through those overthrow events, getting them done and opening chests. Now from here which I will say what my confused players uh, who have already progressed this point and think they have missed something, I can assure you you haven't, you can always go back, trust me I had to. So the next step is to follow the vision of the light into the depths of the pale heart and complete the sword dance cyst. This is one of six cyst missions which hidden in them 
are those last encryption bits but don't worry like I said if you've completed a cis mission a part of a quest line for Micah 10 called Alone in the Dark you can always go back to them trust me as like I said I missed the one from the Sword Dance Cyst mission which is the first one you go to but I went back to it so don't worry about it but either or guys, the location of that, that last encryption bit within the Sword Dance mission, you can see right here guys, this is where you find it. Now they are normally located in and around a boss room, but within the Sword Dance Cyst mission, it's actually located way before that. So when you come to this area guys, take out those enemies and then follow the path I take on the screen now and get that last encryption bit. As you can see, my one's purple because it's the last one I picked up because like I said, I missed the first time around. So like I said, you can always go back and get them, which I will explain how you do this later on in the video. So once you grab this, go ahead and complete the Cyst mission. From here guys, head back to Mika 10. Again, interact with that ghost, speak to Mika 10, claim that reward, and again guys, you are good. Here you will receive the exotic quest for the microcosm, I believe that's pronounced. Put that aside for now, that is not needed within this quest line. Okay, so now guys, within Micah's inventory screen, there is another quest under the Lost Ghost tab. It's called Alone in the Dark. And as you can see here, I've already recovered one ghost. Uh, we've since discovered one of six. This is because I did the Sword Dance Cyst mission, but at that time, I didn't pick up that last encryption bit. And what happens with this Alone in the Dark quest is, it's on a constant rotation. So you work your way through these six Cyst missions, and eventually, guys, they will rotate back around, allowing you to go back and collect the things you may have missed, like I did, like I said, with that Sword Dance Assist mission. So yeah, cool. Okay, so once you pick up the Lone in the Dark quest, it will start and lead you to the Blooming area on the Pale Heart, where you have to go into the Blooming Deep Lost Sector and locate that ghost. Again, always pinpoint, make that waypoint on your map, guys, and follow the path it takes you on. So eventually guys, you'll come to this point right here and you'll locate this ghost, which you can find right here, people. Now, upon you doing this, you then have to open overthrow chests in the blooming area to overthrow the blooming. Here guys, just progress that overthrow within this area until you open enough chests until that next step opens up and pops up on your quest line. Simple. Now your next step will be to follow the vision of light into the depths of the pale heart. Here you guys, you head to this location on your map again at that waypoint. Uh, follow that bird and carry on until the end of the mission where you take this boss down. Upon you taking the boss down guys, you obviously have the option to heal the wounded ghost. Here I left this until I found the bits, the last encryption bits, and then went back, healed the ghost and progressed with the mission. But yeah guys, you'll find the last encryption bit right here on screen. So grab this and then progress this mission. Once you are done, head back to Mika 10, claim the reward and pick up that Alone in the Dark quest again. You have to keep picking up between every assist mission completion, guys. Okay, so next up we have the aerial system mission and the last encryption bit location. So this one guys, you need to head to the impasse area, again make a waypoint, head into the broken deep lost sector and then once you get into this room, clear out all the enemies and you'll find that ghost right here people. Then once you've done this, you have to again open overthrow chests within the impasse area again to progress onto the next step. So keep doing this people until that next step pops up. When it does, make sure you track it and follow that waypoint. You'll eventually guys get to this point and assist a mission. Make your way towards the end of it, take out the boss and you are good. From here guys, follow the path I take on screen now to get that last encryption bit.
Once done, progress the quests, head back to Mika, do what you gotta do, claim that reward and pick up that alone in the dark quest yet again. Okay, so we now move on to the Moth Cyst mission and lost encryption bit location. So within the landing area, make that waypoint and follow the path it tells you to go on. You will eventually come to this point right here guys, where that ghost can be found. Again, from this point within the landing area, go and do that overthrow until that next step does indeed pop up. Again, here now making a waypoint on your director, follow the path it tells you to take. Now this last encryption bit is found towards the start of this assist mission, which is pretty cool and normally found towards the end. So when you get to this point right here guys, you'll see that ogre shooting at you, take him out, then follow the path I take down to get this last encryption bit. From here, finish this system mission, then head back to Mika 10 and again, uh, grab your rewards and grab that along the dark quest yet again. Okay, so now guys, we move on to the Slayer system mission and its last encryption bit location. So head to the blooming landing area and follow the path it tells you to take. You'll eventually get to this point right here, people, where this ghost can be found. From here guys head back to the blooming area and again open doors over through chests to progress this mission. Once you are done mark the quest on your map and follow that waypoint. So you make your way through this mission to get to the end boss fight. Here take at that boss. Once you do people follow the path I take on screen now to grab that last encryption bit. Pretty cool. Once you're done with this, head back to Maker 10, pick up your rewards, and again, pick up that Alone in the Dark quest yet again. Okay, so next up, guys, we move on to the Smothering Darkness Cyst mission and Lost Encryption bit location. So within the impasse area, make that waypoint and follow the path it tells you to go on. You'll eventually come to the Broken Deep Lost Sector, Progress through this last sector until you come to this point right here, and this is where that ghost can be found. From here guys, head back to the impasse area and again, open those overflow chests to progress the mission. Once you do, the next step will pop up and mark it on your map and follow the path it tells you to go on. Here guys, make your way all the way to the boss fight. Take that boss out and then follow the path I take on screen now to get that last encryption bit. From here, finish the assist mission and head back to Mecha 10. Now, if you've already done some of the assist missions, they will rotate, like I said earlier on in the video. So keep picking them up, keep picking up the Lone and Dark quest until the assist mission you missed eventually comes back around. You may have to keep completing them though until it does come back around. But you gotta do what you gotta do. 
Okay, so the remaining nine uh, last encryption bits all come from region chests found around the pale heart. Okay, so I'm going to start with the landing area. There are three chests here and these are their locations. Next up guys, we have the blooming area. There are three chests here too, and on screen now you'll see their locations. And finally guys, we have the impasse area. There are three chests here too, and these are their locations.
and well guys once you have all of them you are good to go and get that cover stuff head back to the impasse follow the path i take on screen now open that golden chest and get the cover stuff legendary weapon and there you have it people you are primed and ready for when that exotic quest is discovered because it's no doubt in my mind that this will be needed guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a like it really helps me out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe if you have any questions let me know down below in the comments section and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one We all on YouTube every damn day, watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many y'all the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Just need gameplays, weekly snipes, heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.